In this video, I'll be talking about how to prepare a hand sanitizer both at home and in a laboratory setting. The formula for preparing the hand sanitizer will be strictly based on WHO recommendations. A simple breakdown of the WHO recommendation for a hand sanitizer is as shown here. Ideally, a hand sanitizer should contain these ingredients. Ethanol of approximately 80% or isopropanol of approximately 75% concentration. Hydrogen peroxide of roughly 0.13% concentration. And glycerol of about 1.4% concentration. In the first part of this video, we'll be covering on how to make a hand sanitizer at home using cheap ingredients that can be bought from any drugstore and departmental stores. So without further ado, let's dive in. First, gather the raw materials required for this. Distilled water or boiled and cooled tap water. Ethanol or isopropanol. Hydrogen peroxide. Glycerin. A large kitchen grade measuring jar preferably graduated. Funnel. Syringes of 10 and 20 ml. Plastic spoon. Suitable containers, preferably a spray bottle. Isopropanol, also known as rubbing alcohol, can be bought from any drugstore and usually comes in a concentration of 70%. Even though the WHO recommends 75% isopropanol, that's just the ideal concentration. You may adjust accordingly based on what concentration is available at your drugstore and use 70% instead of 75%. Ethanol can also be found in drugstores as dehydrated alcohol or surgical spirit and usually comes in a 95% concentration. Medical grade hydrogen peroxide usually comes in a 3% concentration. Commercially sold glycerin is usually 95% glycerol. In this video, we'll be preparing 500 ml or half a liter of hand sanitizer. For volumes more or less than 500 ml, Adjust the quantities of the ingredients accordingly and proceed. For homemade hand sanitizer, you'll need the following quantities of the ingredients previously mentioned. 420 ml of 95% ethanol or 500 ml of 70% isopropanol. 21 ml of 3% hydrogen peroxide. 7.5 ml of 95% glycerol. Take the measuring cup and measure 420 ml of ethanol or 500 ml of isopropanol. Next, using a syringe, measure approximately 21 ml of hydrogen peroxide and add it to the alcohol in the jar. Next, using a syringe, Measure about 7.5 ml of glycerol and add it to the mixture. If necessary, make up the volume to 500 ml using distilled water or boiled and cooled tap water. Stir the mixture using a plastic spoon. Transfer the solution to a suitable container such as a spray bottle. Your hand sanitizer is ready to use. Spray it on one hand and wipe the front and back of both hands, giving special attention to the fingers and thumbs. The second part of this video is for college and university students and teaching staff and professionals who would like to prepare a hand sanitizer using lab reagents. The procedure and materials required are basically the same as those in a homemade hand sanitizer. First, gather the raw materials required for this. Distilled water or boiled and cooled tap water, absolute ethanol or isopropanol, hydrogen peroxide, glycerol, funnel, 
a 500 ml measuring cylinder or volumetric flask, stirring rod or glass tubing, 10 ml measuring cylinders or measuring pipettes, a suitable plastic container. Since concentrated reagents are available in the lab setting, the quantities required for lab-made hand sanitizer is as shown here for preparing a 500 ml solution. 400 ml of absolute ethanol or 375 ml of isopropanol. 2.17 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide. 7.1 ml of glycerol. Take the measuring cylinder or volumetric flask and introduce 400 ml of absolute ethanol or 375 ml of isopropanol. Next, add 2.17 ml of hydrogen peroxide. Then add 7.1 ml of glycerol. Make up the volume to 500 ml using distilled water. Stir the mixture using a glass rod. Transfer the contents of the cylinder to a plastic bottle. Allow the solution to stand for up to 72 hours before use. The hand sanitizer is then ready for use.